So one of the major issues that we always run into with security is this idea of convenience. As I continue to add security kind of features, I run into the issue of, you know, how convenient it is. Think about the TSA. Now that we've added that in, you know, security, the convenience of uh, going and taking a flight is a little lower, and some people get a little annoyed with it. So that's where that comes into play. The same thing actually happens when we talk about passwords. If you think about it, Cape Fear Community College, we make you change your password every 90 days. It's really annoying, but it's to increase security. And the reason is we don't want someone to be able to guess your password. There's actually this thing known as a brute force attack where they try every possible combination. Well, guess what? If we make you change it every 90 days, it makes it a little harder for that brute force attack to happen. Well, we also have to think about passwords in the regard of making sure that they're not bad passwords. For example, how many of you guys are a violator of one of these? You know, I know maybe you're not doing it 100% like that, but how many of you guys you know, use that somewhere in another website? That's a big deal because if we think about the Target uh, exercise, uh, story I told you guys a second ago, they were using default passwords. Now, default means that everyone knows what it is. The problem is, obviously, some people change it, and they don't change it very well. These are actually uh, back when Twitter got hacked, way back in the day. Uh, these were some of the ones that were released, and you know, malicious hackers will use them, break into accounts and whatnot, but mathematicians and statisticians will actually look at these as well. And this is actually what they were able to point out, is these are some of the most commonly used passwords that have been released to the internet. So, for example, uh, how many of you guys, uh, you, for your Cape Fear Community College account, use an uppercase for the first character in your password. I know I'm a violator of that, but guess what? That makes it a little easier to guess. How many of you guys have a number at the very end? Again, makes me uh, very easy to guess. And we continue to look at that until we get into this idea of, uh, it's known as entropy, it's a big scientific word, but I'm able to take something very complex like your password and break it down into those common traits that people do. So suddenly that capital letter, well, that just reduced how many possible characters it could be. Same kind of thing. If you have a number at the very end of it, I can guess it again. I can know that there's only 10 possible characters that you're going to have at the very end of your password. So one of the options you can do is instead of trying to make these things super complex, like changing your O to a zero, which hackers know that you'll do, introduce something like spaces. Uh, this is a nice little XKD. KCD comic, but what it does is it looks at something like Trapadar ampersand 3. Over complexes the idea of a password. Well, what about spaces? Something like correct horse battery staple seems very easy to do. In fact, I'm gonna actually do something, I'm gonna I'm gonna do something crazy. I'm gonna give you my password. Well, not to Cape Fear Community College, but I'm gonna give you the password to my Wi-Fi router. Let's take a look at that. Men in tight, tight tights. It's a throwback to my favorite movie, Mel Brooks's Robin Hood, Men in Tights. It's a wonderful comedy. If you have not taken a look at it, get off your lazy keisters and go find it uh, via the Red Box or the Netflix or even your local library. It should be there. But let's take a look at this. Well, this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 26, 27 possible characters, including spaces. That's actually really powerful, and it's a very easy to remember password. I know what it is at all times. That actually becomes a very important thing because when we're trying to make a good password, it really actually matters about length how long your password is versus how complex it is. If it's long, that makes it go up exponentially how more complicated it is. Some other recommendations are avoid using sequences like one, two, three, or X, Y, Z, and avoid dictionary words. The reason why is because, well, guess what? The same reason that these are very common is because rock you, princess, princess. That's a very easy to guess word. Hackers aren't going to use something like a brute force processor, uh, brute force attack, because it just takes too long. Statistically, it takes too long. What they're going to do is they're going to go through what they call a dictionary attack. 
and that dictionary attack is going to look at all the common words that you know, are in a dictionary and guess what they might be able to guess it so is yours a very common word and you're like oh no I have a number at the end of mine guess what easily guessable so we have to be a little careful with these kind of things